Today's video is a crowd cow review. I'm gonna share with you my entire experience with this service and let you know whether or not it's worth the money. And I can't believe it, but I paid $50 for a piece of Japanese Wagyu that was about this big. That's what she said. <laughs> I'll let you know more on that later. So here's how CrowdCow works. Essentially, you can just order things off of their menu a la carte and they'll ship them directly to your door. Now they have a subscription service, but unlike a lot of the other companies, they don't really push it on you. What they do is they entice you with some pretty awesome perks. For example, if you sign up for their membership, you get 5% off your order, free shipping, and they even throw in some free protein into your box each and every month. That could be Japanese Wagyu, guys. And let me tell you, this Japanese Wagyu is on another level. Level. Which leads me to my next segment, unboxing. Let me show you what was shipped to me. Now let's talk a little bit about the quality. Absolutely insane. Like, nuts. I tried a bunch of different meat delivery services before and this was definitely one of the best meat delivery services ever. Ever. Like, Wow, that was really melodramatic. Uh, seriously, it was that good. So the thing about CrowdCow is they establish special connections with different types of farms all over the world. So they don't just source all their meat from America, they get it from different places like Japan. And the cool thing is they're super transparent about the farms that they work with. Hop on their website and you can see photos of the farmers and you can even see pictures of where the farms are and you can get little bios of all the different farms. They even include a section that lets you shop by farms and you can follow the farms. I'm saying farms a lot, farm, 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 farm. You get the idea, it's insane the quality. The thing I learned later is that the beef is dry age. So all their beef is dry age unless they specify otherwise. And they usually dry it out for about 14 days. And I know that sounds a little bit weird, especially for somebody who doesn't know a lot about steaks and meat. But when you dry age meat, it actually becomes more tender and it's definitely way more delicious. The thing dry aging does is it concentrates the flavors and it removes a lot of the water that the meat kind of like soaks up. Literally haven't found another service that does this. In terms of hormones, None. In terms of antibiotics, none added. Chickens are free range chickens that are allowed to roam. They aren't stuffed into some kind of cage and they feed them organic feed, which is nothing but the best for chickens. Fish, they sell both sustainably caught and also wild caught fish off the coast of different areas. Like for example, Alaska, both grass fed and pasture raised beef. So there's a lot of different options and things you can choose from with crop cow. All right, let's talk about the taste now. So every single thing that crowd cow sells is tasted by their experts. If it's not good to them they don't put it on the website which is crazy the next thing is the wagyu and let me tell you this was one of the best pieces of steak i have ever tried in my life and i'm not just saying that for this video i'm not just saying it for clicks i'm not just saying it for views like it literally was amazing and i also shared this steak with some of my friends and they said the same thing <laughs> seriously no wait is it worth the 50 dollars <laughs> Yes. Buy it now. Buy it. <laughs> Link in the description below. <laughs> yeah, yeah. One. Fifty dollar wagyu here. Granted, it was $50, but I'm definitely gonna order it again in the future because it was just mind boggling how good it tasted. And you know, these Japanese cows that they raise over there, there's a lot of marbling going on in there. So normally I'm not a huge fan of fat, but what happens is the fat is just kind of like woven into the meat. And when you cook it, it doesn't feel chewy. Like it's not chewy, it's very tender. And the flavors just like pop out. You don't need to put anything on it except for a little bit of rock salt or a little bit of pepper and it's just, it's out of this world. So I'd highly recommend trying it out or at least signing up because I think they give you a piece of Wagyu for free when you sign up. If you are looking to sign up, I'll make sure that I keep the link in the description below updated with the best possible discount I can get you on the internet. My experience with the chicken was very pleasant. And the reason I say that is because I've tried a lot of rubbery chicken in the past. And also when you cook chicken, sometimes you'll see that in the pan or on the grill, like it holds a lot of like saline or a lot of like water and it just kind of like leaks out. This wasn't the case with this chicken. Uh, we slapped it on the grill and it came out very tender, very moist. We added some sweet baby raised barbecue sauce to this and it was phenomenal. The steaks that we got were a nice 
thick cut. They were juicy, they were lean. They didn't have like a lot of fat on them. They were perfect grilling steaks. Again, we just used a little bit of salt and pepper on there just so we could really taste the flavor of the meat and not sort of mask it with any kind of seasonings. And I have to say it was very, very good. Now we got to talk about the pros and cons of Crowd Cow and there aren't really a lot of cons to this other than let's say the price tag. But first we'll start with the pros. So the first pro is the quality. As I've been saying this entire Crowd Cow review, the quality is just insane and it's so delicious. Everything that I ordered from there was is perfect. The chicken is antibiotic and hormone free. The steak is just sourced from the best places around the world and I didn't have a problem with anything. Another pro to the service is that the selection is second to none. Like you will not find another service that gives you all these different cuts of meat and is also super transparent about where it comes from. The third pro to the service is that you get some really unique sort of perks when you become a member. They do send you some free Wagyu every now and again. So that's just like a no brainer for me. One of the cons is that they don't give you a lot for your money. You are getting better quality meat, like much better quality meat, but you're not getting as much quantity as you would with let's say like a butcher box or a good shop. But in my personal opinion, I will take quality over quantity any day, especially because, you know, the amount of quantity you're getting is decent. It's not as good as the other ones, but the quality is just like miles above the other ones. Jump in the final verdict. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave me a comment if you have any questions about Crowd Cow. And if you're looking to sign up, there's a link in the description below. Make sure you click that. And now for the final verdict, would I get Crowd Cow again, knowing everything that I know now? The answer is hands down, absolutely positively yes. The reason being is it's the best meat delivery service I've ever tried in terms of quality you are going to get the best quality cuts from this service hands down you won't necessarily get the best quantity but it will be good cuts of meat the japanese wagyu is out of this world and i really think that crowd cow is at least worth trying you can cancel at any time and you can also just order things a la carte off the menu so with that said if you like this video check this one out i'm sure you'll like it too click it go ahead just click it